Item one to our third floor on this slide. It is the eighth and final race weekend of the BMW IBSF Bobsleigh and Skeleton World Cup. We're in scenic Lake Placid, New York, in the snowy, wintry Adirondack Mountains. Well, spring showed its head a couple of weeks ago, but winter has come back like a lion. It is cold, it is windy, it is snowing, and it is the first heat of the men's Skeleton World Cup finale. Our points leader, Christopher Grothair, ahead of Matt Weston and Jung Seung Gui. And the Battle of Crystal Globes will be a tight one. This is a great track for racing. One that has got plenty of history, two-time Winter Olympic venue, but this new track opened in 2000, new for the 21st entry. Relatively quick drop at the start. Jung Seung Bin, Korea, with the start record down into turn one. Now you build up speed quite quickly here, as you can see, rattling down into turn two, the first left-hander, and then three cliffs side. Exiting here, down into corner four, another long left-hander, white face, named after the mountain that faces it, then down through the Devil's Highway. This four-corner complex, five-corner complex, five, six, seven, eight, and then nine, and then into Shady Two, named after the legendary Shady Turn, corner 10. Out of 11, the left-hander really picking up speed now through the lower labyrinth. You can see the track whistling by you down through the chicane into Benham's Bend. And then shoot the chicane there into the heart. This heart-shaped bottom sequence, corner 18, corner 19, uphill now through 19, all the way to the finish there. Track record set by Alexander Tretyakov back in 2019. Now that was a very cold December day. It is not quite that cold now. Start record, by the way, goes back to January 2016. One of the older start records in the business. And in the finish area, in the changing room, you can see all the start records as they've evolved, written down by hand on a board so that everybody can enjoy seeing how much quicker they all are now. Well, as you can see on our World Cup standings, Christopher Grote here leads the points just 65 ahead of Matt Weston, the current champion ahead of last year's world champion. There is Christopher, wrapped up warm. Five different winners this season, 10 different medal winners. Finger guns as ever from Matt Weston. Look at the air temperature, minus 11. It really is a cold day, and uh, that doesn't take the wind into account. Look at the windsock there. Minus nine. White face is over there somewhere. You can't really see it in these conditions. It is uh, a very limited range of visibility. Well, our first man on ice today will be Frenchman Luca Dufaye with the 16-year-old from Ukraine, Yaroslav Lavrenyuk, following him. And after the first three, we get into our slew of winners and potential medalists. 
and then we have a field that is 35 sliders deep. So some inexperienced sliders towards the tail of the field. Look forward to seeing what they make of this track. Jafaye gets us underway there, 26 year old Frenchman here in the North America's Cup in March last season, at the end of last season, so March 2023, raced here in the North America's Cup races two weeks ago, where there were 50 plus competitors hitting off the wall in Cliffside, through Whiteface down into the Devil's Highway. Lots of snow blowing in through the shades. It's a very wintry track. It is hard, fast ice. Modest 9 is quick, and that means control is going to be at a premium. Whipping out a shady down into the lower labyrinth. Here's the chicane. It's a double tap through there. And then sliding the hard 17, the right handed 18, corner 19. This is all going to be over in a jiffy, isn't it? 54 84. And the track record is a 52.87. So two seconds off that from our first slider. And we started 5.05. So three tenths, 3,500s away from the start record. But it is a track that accelerates you quickly and really builds speed. Even here, as you're coming down from three into four, taking the hits, late exit there. And then going down in through the chicane. All right. Well, he's only got four races, two race weekends under his belt on this track. Yaroslav, Yaroslav Lavrenyuk of Ukraine has even fewer. On the left there, you saw Cassie Ravelli, who is the head of our skeleton jury. Youth Olympic silver medalist in Beijing just over a month ago. Raced here in Marg as well. At the beginning of the month, 24 <laughs> and 18 is two race results. And again, 24 doesn't sound great. It's more than halfway up the field on his first ever visit, 518. Just 16 years old, this young man. Second best speed, didn't start as quickly as Defaye. Again, that little clunk from three into four. Then into the Devil's Highway, Five and Dix, the two right-handers, again, whipping past the cameras. It's already up to 40 miles an hour, accelerating fast. 69.7 miles an hour, almost a mile an hour quicker than Luca Dufaye. So he's building speed down through the chicane, 118 k, 73 miles an hour. Shooting that chicane and still accelerating out of the heart through corner 19, up towards the finish line and across the line, 54.70, so 1,400s quicker than Luca Defaye off a start that was 1,300 slower. That's a very good looking opening slide from Yaroslav Lavrenyuk. Now to remind you, the rules this year are slightly different. Previously, it was the top 20 from any heat that got into the second run. Now, with the bigger field in skeleton, it is the top 25 who go through from our 35 sled field. And I'm saying right now, I'm pinning my colours to the mast. I think Lavrenyuk gets a second run with that. Not bad at all. Now then, Colin Freeling for Belgium at a real knowledge deficit. Being helped out by the British team. Only his eighth World Cup start. He has not raced here in his career. 15th place in Beijing. The season opener was his best result so far in his first World Cup campaign. 521 getaway. So 300 slower than Lavrenyuk, our current leader. That should leave him around the eight, nine hundreds, slower at the bottom. And a four, five, six. In the Devil's Highway, seven, eight, nine, and then big corner, 10, shady two. Great photographer spot. 
And then down this fast labyrinth. Oh, big high exit off 12 into 13. That's going to leave him in trouble out of Benham's Bend. I mean, down through the chicane. 1.49. Lowest speed we've seen so far. That's only 71 and a half miles an hour. Late out of 18. And then climbing across the line. 55.38. I think that leaves him in trouble, making the second heat. Very limited experience. Had his appendix removed in Innsbruck. And uh, that has definitely cost him in terms of being able to train, in terms of overall fitness levels as well. Lack of experience on the track, you can see. that although he's getting down, the steers aren't quite where he would like them to be. And again, Race day prep, track is a little bit faster probably than he found it and a little bit different than he found it in training. Thanks for watching, bye-bye. All right, well that might be his final regular season run. Now then, last year's winner was Matt Weston of Great Britain. Here's Guggenberger with the sled. Now Weston, European champion. Lost out in the world, took the silver medal behind Christopher Grothair in Windberg. Last year's world champion in San Moritz. 484 getaway, 1400s off the start record. Only one World Cup here in his career, and that was gold last year. Did race in the NAC races. Fourth in race one, thirteenth in race two, and there was a lot of that vagary. That was a couple of weekends ago. A couple of late exits already. Their speed, 112.4, is 69.8 miles an hour. Just a whisker quicker than Yaroslav Lavrenyuk. Great run out of Benham's Bend. Shook the chicane nicely on 18.7. Three point eight miles an hour, fifty three sixty seven. Zero three seconds ahead of the Ukrainian. Up next, we have a town fighter on the day of the So four eighty four is the start. Martin still calls the man with the information. A couple of late exits there. You can see this one up in the labyrinth. That comes nicely through the chicane. Runners coming straight towards us, just about, just easing it away a little Hi bit. Everyone back at home. One more run. One more run in the season. Yeah, I don't think there's much doubt he will get that run. Hey. Coach Billy Schneider with the sled for Italy's Amadeo Banias, the fifth of our 35 starters. Race eight, the men's skeleton season finale here in Lake Placid. 27th World Cup start for Amadeo. Like Matt Weston, who's just gone before him. Varying results here a couple of weekends ago. Eighth in race one, 25th in race two. Let's see which Amadeo Banyas turns up today. 4.79, that's a very good getaway. No doubting his quick legs. Hasn't raced on this track before this season. The Italians did not come here last year. He started the season in North America last year. Whistler Park City and then Lake Placid. Then two weeks here with the Push World Championships on the first weekend and the World Cup racing on the second. Better speed for Matt Weston. He's still in the green of the British slider. Gets a little ping off the wall in the game. 2300 up, still had the best speed. <laughs> Entertaining noises from the fans track side. Gap come down, but 2700 up, 53 4 0. Well, that is 6700 off the all time track record. I wonder if it's going to be in trouble today whether there's not quite enough control in the sleds, but Amadeo Banias, fastest down so far of our five starters, fastest starter of our five starters as well. Just a little kick out of that right-hand groove. 
Little brush with the wall there, took speed away. But not enough to drop in behind Matt Weston. Not bad for a first World Cup slide down this track. Banias Weston and Lavrenyuk, the top three. Race eight, BMW IBSF Men's Skeleton World Cup. And Felix Keisinger of Germany is our sick data. 34th World Cup race for him. He's had four of those in this track in Lake Placid, raced here in the ICC as well. Strazel, a bronze medal in December 2019. Only the third fastest start with a 4.95 and already in trouble. Four tenths back for Kaisi. This is not a good top part of the track and he will really struggle to make that gap back head up second best speed tying now for the lead no no he's not what that mean it's all going away he'll be behind matt weston and behind amadeo banyas nine tens back that's a yawning gap back to Bida. That's not going to be a top six run for Felix Keisinger. See, as ever, all the track workers up the outrun, just to make sure that if people have trouble, they will get caught. There's a wild ride for Kaisi. And there, their start two comes in already at the top of the Devil's Highway. He was in trouble. Full impact on the chain, really having to work hard. Yeah, not happy with that one. Let's see if he can find anything on the second run. The first of our German athletes has gone. Felix Kaiser. Next up is Axel Jung. There are four Germans in the field today. Young, the Olympic silver medalist, a winner on this track. Won here in December 2019. That's his only podium finish in his races here. Started his 70th World Cup race on home ice in Altenburg a few weeks ago. 4.99, the getaway. Axel. Like Felix Keisinger struggling for pace here. 4200 back early on. Goodness me. He started two tenths behind Amadeo Banyas. That has already multiplied itself out. Only the fifth best speed. Look at the legs all over the place trying to control the sled here. Most of the finishes have been four fifth, sixth on this track with just that one venture to the top step of the podium. Tidying it up down the bottom, but it's too little, too late. He will be ahead of Keisinger, but not by much, just one hundredth of a second in it. Well, the 2019 winner is not going to win in 2024. Well, only two men in the field have won on this track. Matt Weston, last year's winner, and Axel Jung here, winner in 2019. Weston had a decent-ish run, but just look at the legs of Axel Jung. They are working overtime. Heels up all the time, legs akimbo. Big scrambling. <laughs> Hello to everybody back home, thanks for watching. Now, what can 26-year-old Felix Seibel do? Only his eighth World Cup, his first on this track. Raced here in January 2019 in the ICC, but like his teammates, did not do the NAC races two weeks ago. 5.01 getaway, now that's going to leave him at a deficit as well. Already steering hard down into cliffside. Out of four, takes the hit on that left shoulder. 
down the Devil's Highway. Out of corner nine into Shady. Nice high line. Building the speed on the exit down through the labyrinth. Whipping into Benham's bend. Ooh, came down hard into the chicane, but best speed so far. Just a whisk and quicker than Amadeo Banyas. By that I mean two tenths of a kilometre an hour. He's going to be behind Matt Weston, but he will be the better. Well, the best of the three Germans so far with a 54-1-3. Philip Seidel really making a place for himself in this German World Cup squad this season. I think he's got plenty of potential for the future. And if he's healthy at the beginning of next year, then... All the other German sliders are definitely going to have to watch out in the selection races. Because I think on, the, on his current form, he's an absolute shoe-in for the World Cup team next year. And so too is this man, our now three-time world champion, our World Cup points leader. The man with one hand on the Crystal Globe, the silver medalist here last season, Christopher Grothair. Christopher starting his 75th World Cup race. One of the most quietly spoken athletes you find. 496. Good getaway for Grode Hair. This is his eighth World Cup race here in Lake Placid. Olympic gold medalist and now three time world champion. All in five years, his career has absolutely quarreled. This is a very good looking run, only the seventh best speed. Is he being conservative? He certainly looks a lot more in control than Axel Jung. Sixth best speed. Top six run will do it, but he can't afford to drop much further back. Unless Matt Weston doesn't win the race. Then my maths is all over the place. 9,700 is back. Six position, 54-37. OK, it's going to be tight. It's going to be tight. Right now, Groat here, 14.06. Plus, what do you get for sixth place? You get... Oh, I'm going to have to do the maths in a moment. Let's take a look at the start. Nice clean start in the left hand spur. Nice just to get it out pretty straight there. And again, out of corner four. Just a little rattle on the way down to the Devil's Highway. Next up, Yin Cheng of China. Yin lying in fourth place in the World Cup standings. Just 31 point points behind Jung Xiongui. There's a definite battle on there as well. A push world champion here in Lake Placid last year. Should have a good start. 4.79 for Banyas, 4.80. For Yin Cheng, that's a good getaway. World Championship bronze medalist as well in Winterberg. And he won the last two World Cup races in Segulda and in Uttenberg. Just two hundreds off the lead, so he's ahead of Matt Weston. He's comfortably ahead of Christopher Grothair. Seven hundreds off the lead of Amadeo Vanius. Amadeo Vanius has one World Cup medal, and it is a gold. Right now, within 100, better speed than Amadeo Vanius as well. Half a mile an hour up, Yin Cheng should be in front. He is in front as he comes through the heart. Really nice looking run from the Chinese slider. Fantastic stuff. And again, what a second half of the season he is having. 53-29. Fastest trip down so far, leads by 11 hundredths. Now 
that moves Matt Weston down to third place in the standings so far. And Christian Grote here down to seventh place. And the difference between third and seventh is 32 points. So Yin Sheng with the lead after the first that 10 slits. Race Thompson. 8, BMW IBSF Men's Skeleton World Cup finale in Lake Placid. Great Britain's Craig Thompson, the 31-year-old. Three World Cups here. His best in February 19 was a 16th place finish. Did not race on the track here last year. Sixth place in the only NAC race that he did a couple of weeks ago. Five dead at the start. 35th World Cup start for Craig Thompson. Loads of experience and always right on the cusp. Craig's best result so far this season. Fourth place in Innsbruck. been out of the top ten though since then. Six best speed. Seven fastest start. He's drifting out to eighth place behind Christopher Grode here. Still six best speed. See the impacts of tearing the tape off the sled. These temperatures. That tape flapping around will probably cost him a hundred in the run. Across the line, 54-31. Probably not where he wanted to be. But sixth place at the bottom. But a second back. In these cold conditions, the tape glue just really stops being gluey. It's not flapping there, it's that hit there. And if that's done that to the tape, just peeled it off the sled, you know that it's got a big bruise already forming on his right shoulder and probably on his hip as well. I've just been flapping away at him annoyingly. Martis Ducour is trying to re-stick it. Clear. Need a hairdryer for that. So, bronze medalist here last year, Jung Seungui of Korea. Jeff Payne with the sled. 25th birthday on Sunday, he pops the groove and somehow gets back on the sled. A 6.67 start. Still comfortably quicker than any civilian would manage at the start, but absolutely his mind will be racing 19 to the dozen. He'll have none of the speed on board that he was expecting to have. And Jules' hopes of a crystal globe just disappeared. 3.2 seconds back. There's not a hope he's going to be in the top 10. And with Yin Cheng of China leading now, the crystal globe just disappeared. An utter disaster for what Jung Xiong Wei. I don't think Jeff Payne saw it. I don't think he heard that it had happened as he walked from the block. But Jung knew. Blast off from the block, and then it just pops out of the groove. Maybe he was just leaning a little too far to the right. Oh, Jeff did see it. Amazingly, has the presence of mind to get the sled and keep it going down the hill. He'd gone too far to be able to stop. But that's the end yeah, of his hopes for Crystal Globe. For Next up, Marcus Wyatt. At this stage, last year when we got to Lake Placid, he was still our World Cup points leader, having won in Whistler the season opener and being absolutely on a rare vein of form. First raced here in 2016. He was sixth and tenth in the two NAC races a couple of weeks ago. 481. 
That was the third fastest start. Little tap between three and four, not too bad. Down through the Devil's Highway. The gap is tiny. This could be a good end to the season for Marcus White. It's looking very strong. A hundredth in front of Yin Shen. 139, better speed as well than anybody. 70.8 miles an hour. Oh, just whiskers through the chicane. 400 back, second best speed. Yin was fastest at the bottom. Yin Cheng will lead, but Marcus White will be second. He's third. Two tenths back. And that's the skids out of Benham's Bend and down through the chicane. Taking that speed away as you get into the heart. Yin Cheng leads Amadeo Banyas 11 hundreds back. Marcus Wyatt two tenths back. Marcus finished fourth here last year. Will he go one better? Well, it was a great start. 481, third quickest. But he drove the top part of the track beautifully. Here, just drifting away to his right. Doesn't get the hit, but gets the big skid there. Hey, everybody. One more run. Let's go get it. Yep. Yeah. All right. So Marcus Wyatt, sixth and tenth here in the world, in the uh, NAC races, North America's Cup races. Matias Gaspari, ninth and eighth. So he had a pretty good couple of races two weeks ago. Won the previous World Cup appearance back in January 2016. I can't believe he hasn't been here for eight years. 5.05 getaway for Mattia. Little tap, three to four. And into the Devil's Highway. Whipping through these upper corners. Out of corner nine, had a big skid, coming into Shady. Down through the labyrinth, best speed of all for Matia Gaspari. Where he started 10th fastest, he's up to fifth on the splits. Still the best speed for Matia Gaspari. Still a top flight run from only the 10th best start in 13 sleds, i.e. third slowest. Across the line, fifth place, 53-68. Well, he's 100 behind Matt Weston. And they are half a second ahead of Felix Seibel in sixth. So, a really good battle shaping up for the podium. What a nice looking run from Mattia Gaspari. Gives away a lot at the start. Only a 5.05 getaway compared to 4.79 and 4.80 of the fastest. So giving away a quarter of a second at the top. Ooh, that was close. That was close. Yeah. But came down only 3,900s back. That's a really nice drive. Okay, Yan Wen Gang, our Olympic bronze medalist from Beijing. Yan. Hasn't been having the strongest of seasons. Bronze medal in Yang Ching at the start of the season. And the next best result, sixth place in Lillehammer. But he has been a bit up down like the Assyrian Empire. Let's see what he's got for us today. 12th place in last season's race here. The 495 is a decent start. That's a tenth quicker than we just saw from Mattia Gaspari. So the fifth fastest start, but can he make it to fifth at the bottom? He's already 2,800s back. And Gabari was only 3,900s back, a kilometre further down the track. 2,600s, he's narrowing the margin, closing in on the top four. This is a challenge for Great Britain's Matt Weston. Whoa, 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 whoa. Fifth best speed, 3,100s back. Still top five. If he holds it together, he'll be between Weston and Gaspari. He's not. Three hundreds behind Mattia Gaspari in sixth position.
but still the top six and then everyone else half a second apart. Gaps coming down a little more over just over four tenths apart, but still a yawn chasm back to Felix Seibel and Axel Junk and Craig Thompson and Felix Keisinger and Christopher Grothair is currently only 11. That's not a bad looking run, but here, look, really having to work hard. He's way over on the slider's left, clips the wall on the left, midway through the chain. <laughs> Having a fun time. Sammy Meyer for Austria. 24 year old in his 32nd World Cup start. I didn't race here last season. Best result previously, 19th place in the first of two World Cup races here in December 2019. Next time we come to Lake Placid, there'll be four heats as well, because next year it will be finally the World Championships, which are due to be held here in 2021, but we all know what happened then. Nobody went anywhere, certainly not to North America, and they were held in Altenburg under COVID restrictions. We're 11th at the start, up to 9th on the splits, but the speed's going away, and a little double tap through this game he's going to relegate him down to about 11th place at the bottom oh maybe not even 11th 12th behind christopher grodow again sammy not here for five seasons that's a lot of knowledge to have to regain didn't race here, uh, did race here in the uh, NAC races, 16th and 24th. So reacquainting himself with the track has not brought all the speed that he would have hoped for. Alex Howe there helping with the sled, who's the head of the Austrian coaching. So Sammy Meyer in 12th base of a 5-0-2 start. Now, what about Kim Ji Soo of Korea? Oh, how conservative he's going to be with the push. You can't afford to be, but he's just seen his teammate pop the groove. Seventh here last year. Made his race debut here in March 2017. is a very strong getaway. Best World Cup result for him in December 2022. The last time we were here, seventh four. A little bit of a hard hit and a corner three. Harder than a number we've seen. A little bit of looping height in some of these corners. Again, a bit of tape coming off his sled. Very high through Shady 2, only the 11th best speed of the fourth fastest start. 26th in the first of the NAC races here a couple of weeks ago, 15th in the second. He's going to be somewhere between those two, isn't he, here? Seventh at the line, okay, close to the 15th, but... Yeah, it, it's... Mm. It, it didn't look like a very comfortable slide. It looked like he was having to do more than he wanted to. However, on target with his previous best from last season. Lots of fans up at the finish area. There's lots up at the start as well. Loads of teammates yelling their colleagues off as well. It's a great going away shot down through the chicane. Lake Placid is one of the towns like Koenigsee, to a degree like Altenburg as well, where it's a small Rat town is and bobsleigh is big sport with a long history. Great. Yes, Miracle on Ice, yes, two Olympic Games, but bobsleigh, everybody in town knows when it's happening. Great friends, Jacob Salisbury gets away very quickly. Only the eighth World Cup for the 28-year-old. Only did race one, 
in the NAC, finished in 49th place. That's how big the field was. 484 getaway, that's a cracking start. Fifth fastest, the former swimmer. Through the Devils Highway. Seventh on the splits, not holding the speed into Shady 2. Whipping left into corner 11. Oh, hard flop off 12 into 13. Out of Venom's Bend, corner 14. Working hard in Skade, only the 17th best speed. He's going to be down at the bottom of the field. 14th out of 18 so far. Might be enough to make the second heat. Should be good enough to make the second heat, but his NAC result wasn't um, maybe his best. His only previous visit here was in the NAC in March 2023, so after last year's World Cup season finished. This year's NAC finale was a couple of weeks ago before the last World Cup race. Again, you can see working hard there. Big, big skid through the chicane just when he should be building speed from Benham's Bend. And he knows it. One, now then, what about Austin Florian? Sixth place here last year in December. The 29 year old. Fourth place in Alterberg. Oh! Overshoots the sled, but unbelievably, it stayed in the groove and it's still a 491 getaway. Four previous World Cups on this track. Last year's top six finish was his best in World Cup racing in Lake Placid. Of course, the Americans do know this trip well. They split their pre and post season time between here and Park City in Utah. They have section racing each pre-season and Austin does know the track well ninth best beat seventh fastest start after that slip oh and sideways out of Benham's into the chicane going to see him down at the bottom of the top ten ninth on it Axel Jung 12 oh was really hoping to see something very special from Austin Florian. I'm sure he was very keyed up and ready to go. He is 300 ahead of Christopher Grothair, which anywhere else would be very good news. Grothair is in 13th. Now what happens here? Watch the crossover. His hand misses the saddle that it's going for on his right-hand side. And all his, luckily, his left hand grabs the left side of the handle. And again, boom! Big hit on the wall. You're doing 73, 74 miles an hour there. Does not want to talk. Tracks clear now for Rasmus Johansson, the 20th of 35 starters in the field. The Dane in his ninth World Cup race, didn't race here last season, was here though post-season in the America's Cup, so he's got a couple of races under his belt, didn't race here a couple of weeks ago, 4-8-0, that's a great getaway. That wasn't a 480, this corrects itself to a 497, that's much more like it, but still quick enough. Nearly top 10 starting. Ooh, quite skiddy though. They need to move that bit of tape. More and more runners going over. Now we saw all of our German sliders struggling, and he is struggling as well. You can see that his legs are almost never following his head. They're always to one side or the other. So the sled is constantly skidding on its little pivot point on its rock. Across the line, 54-35. Well, that's 100th slower 
than Austin Florian, so he's ahead of the newly crowned world champion Christopher Grote here. I'm going to have to do some maths here because Grote are now down to 14th place. Matt Weston in fourth. Fourth is 192 points. 14th is 112. If that gap remains, if Grote here doesn't dramatically improve and Weston doesn't blow it, Weston will grab the Crystal Globe. Meanwhile, Johansson again, look, working all the way down. Now he's using an FES slave. He's got a German coach and set up. Yeah, Only two of the German sliders remain in the top ten. Felix Seibel is the best of them. 20 down, 15 to go. The BMW IBSF skeleton season finale. 21st of our starters, Vladislav Heraskevich. Five Greeks World Cups here. His best result last year in 11th place. His first was back in November 2017. Everybody should have done more World Cups and an additional World Championship since then, but because of COVID and travel and yada yada, it's been hard to get over here. By the way, 18th best start, but Vlad goes well on this track. And actually, he's got quite a lot more knowledge than a lot, a large percentage of the field. Second best speed, look at him go. Absolutely fine. Skid in the game, but still third best speed. 18th starter up to seventh on the splits. Is this a top six run? Is he ahead of Yang Wendang? He is not. He's nine hundreds behind him. But Vladislav Heraskevich, 18th at the start, seventh at the bottom. 53.80 off of 508. Quite as big an improvement of his start as Mattia Spari, but he is the second best at out driving their getaway in the field so far. Not a bad looking run, still, there's lots to tidy up. This is such a tough track to get a skeleton sled down straight, and here just drifting a little too far yeah, to his right, gets a ping off the wall in the chicane. Of That's a good looking run. Alex Schlittner next for Austria, big tall athlete, only raced here last year and a couple of weeks ago. Finished in 16th place on his debut on this track in the World Cup. Last, oh, December 22 last season, 5.03 getaway. Just seen Vladimir Heraskevich come into seventh place of a 5.08. Dear Gaspari lies fifth of a 5.05. So you don't need a four second start to be in the top 10 if you can drive this back well today. And this is not a bad looking run either. He's not picking up speed though. Only the 17th best speed. And again, arms legs following his head. Well, they sort of are. He's working a little too hard for it, obviously, because he's only got the 21st best speed. 18th, 19th, 20th on the splits ahead of Colin Freeling and Jung Seungui. All right, well, that's a little bit of redemption for Christopher Grote here because that's one slider who's not in front of him. So Alex Schlittner, 16th last year, 20th at the moment. Is that enough to make the second heat? I'm not sure that's guaranteed, to be honest. We've got two or three sliders four or five actually still to come who do know the track. Now, whether or not they can translate that into speed remains to be seen, but look, banging his head on the sled. That is clear to start one from Manuel Schweizer of Italy. So from Alex Schlitner to Manuel Schwerzer, the Austrian, 
where Schneider finished 6th, uh, 14th and 20th in the world in the NAC races a couple of weeks ago. Manuel Schweitzer was 33rd and 21st. 502 getaway. That's enough to get him in there. It's a 15th best start. 14th best positive. Highway, creeping out of eight line into Shady. Little tap on the exit. Out to 18th place on the splits. You can see he's really working hard trying to control this. This is his first time ever on the track this month. A couple of weeks to try and get the speed up. That's not going to be enough. 55-47. So started 100th quicker than Alex Schlintner. Came down six tenths of a second slower. 22nd out of 23. So that's one sled behind Colin Freeling, or two now. Oh, but look at the height there. Schwerz just trying to let it fly, but just too much going on there. It's hard, both sides of the chicane. I think that's his final run of the season. What about Switzerland's Vincent Spouf? 22 years of age, raced in the North America's Cup last year and again a couple of weeks ago. Only his seventh World Cup start. He was 27th in race one, 16th in race two, so good progress. Let's see if he can continue that. 5.07, 20th best start. Start speed and the experience diminishes as we go further through the field. Let's see what he can produce here, though. This is our 14th place in Lillehammer. Not looking too bad. He's out driving his start. Half a second back. Eighth best speed. This is a very nice looking run from Vances Proof. Out of Venom's Bend, big steer into the chicane. Speed's dropping away. Ninth for speed, it all sad through the heart. It was looking to be a top 10 run. He just gets it at the line, 54 1 5. And he is in the top 10 by 23 hundreds ahead of Axel Young. I beg your pardon, by 15 hundreds ahead of Axel Young. That is a great run from Van Sensburf. 20th fastest start, 10th fastest downtime. Woo, he's right. And take a look here again. This is out of three on the run down to four. Takes the tap, has to paddle with his feet as well a little. Then down into Chicane. Just gets that tag on the right hand side. This is the coming towards you shot, the reverse of the one we've just seen. You can see all the grooves in the wall there from where Defenses. so many skeleton sleds. Yeah, that's the bruise. Seventh World Cup race for Dan Barefoot as well, the American. Made his debut in Calgary NAC in November 2017. He's had 13 NAC and ICC races here since the first in January 2018. 5.03, but we've just had a top 10 run from Vincent's push off a 5.07. But Dan Ben Fairfoot skidding from two to three. Clean out of three to four. He's losing ground. 17 faster start. He's out to 21st on the split. Half a second back. Bringing it back now. And eighth best speed. This near minus 10 degree ice temperature, the track is holding up well. Shoots the chicane as well as we've seen in about 15 sleds. 12 best speed. He'll be comfortably in the top 20. Where's he going to be at the line? Dan Barefoot comes across in 11th, 54 27. 
And there is a bit of home knowledge for you. Look up best result, 16th place in Samaritz. And he's knocking on the door of a top 10. He is ahead in 11th place of Axel Junk in 12th, Craig Thompson in 13th, Phyllis Kaiser in 14th, Austin Florian in 15th, Christopher Grohair now down to 17th place. Good work from Dan Barefoot. Now, early on, looked to be in a little bit of control trouble. Big steers going on. See the elbow coming out? That's a really hard steer. But yeah, good to have that intimacy that with the track. 25 sleds down, 10 to go. So now, the bottom 10 sliders from 15 on down might be in trouble. Here's Livio Summermatter, Youth Olympic bronze medalist from 2020. 480, what a good start from Livio Summermatter. Just drifts along the wall early on, two into three. Makes a hit into corner or exited three into four. Bouncing around into five and six. Woo! Little height late in seven. Second fastest start, Livio Summermatter, in the entire field. Whoa! Again, very late exit. Out to seventh place, 23rd for speed. Well, it was a top 10 run early on, and now he'll be doing well to be in the top 20. Going to be across the line in 19th place, 54 5 line. And that guarantees, I think, that there will be no Crystal Globe for Jung Seung Hui. He will not get a second run. Jung in third place, just 31 points ahead of Yin Sheng of China coming into this. And Yin is our leader. Big hit there from Livio Summermatter. And again, look at the late height over the expansion joint getting fully airborne. Well, <laughs> big smile on his face. He's in a race at the moment. Next up for Spain is Ergen Rodriguez, 34th and 37th in the two NAC races. First race here, uh, third race ever was in the NAC here in November 2019. He finished 18th and 20th then. 18th in Beijing at the start of the season, his best World Cup results. 5.08 getaway. Again, we saw Vincent Spurf driving into a top 10 position from a 5.07. It's not impossible. Ajin, 23rd best start, 23rd on the split at the moment. If he can get a second heat, that would be a, a big bonus here. Mr. Cut in La Plan, Mr. Cut in Innsbruck, Mr. Cut as well in Altenburg. Still building his knowledge. 26 best speed. In danger of dropping out of the race. He was 23rd most of the way down. Now out to 25th, 26th. He is out as well, I'm afraid. So he does not get a second trip. Manuel Schwerzer is 25th, who's the man really in the danger zone. Colin Freeling, 24th. Alexander Schlintner, 23rd. Lucas Faye, 22nd. They're all potentially in the drop zone. Adrian, long, late height there. So they're just getting thrown up by the G-forces and down into the chicane. It's kind of late off Benham's bend. Massive skid there, just hemorrhaging speed. All right, so that's his final World Cup slide of the season completed.
Now, what about a quasi Frimpong, the skeleton athlete from Ghana? Knows this track well. He lives in Salt Lake City, so Park City is his home track, but he knows this one well. 22 races here in North America Cup and ICC since January 2017. He finished 28th and 26th a couple of weeks ago in the NAC races. Five or three, that's a pretty decent start. This is where he needs to channel that knowledge. 18th best start. Best results so far this season was in the season opener in Beijing. He was 19. He's already out to 23rd place. This is going to be touch and go for a quasi. Own 28th best speed. He's working quite hard for the lines he wants. 28th best speed. And he's already out of the top 25 as he shoots the chicane. It is not going to be a second heat for a quasi Frimpong. His World Cup season comes to a close with a 55 7 8. So ahead of Jung Xiong Gui, Ghanaian slider. That is the World Cup season done. I'm sure he'll be back here next year for the World Championships. He's got good speed at the start. A former youth sprinter when he lived in the Netherlands. Having to work just a little too hard. So big long toast here, another one there. A couple coming out of Benham's to try and shoot the chicane. And then had a skid as well down into 17. Rack is clear to start one for the King. Always a joy to be around, but that's his final heat. Now then, what about Chang Chun Hung for Chinese Taipei? 46th and 47th in the NAC races a couple of weeks ago. Competed in the Youth Olympics in Lillehammer 2016 in Luge. But by the World Championships in Kona 2017, he was a skeleton athlete. Raced in the NAC last year and this month. Competed in the World Championships in Winterberg as well, just three weeks ago. 5.31 start means that he's on the back foot when it comes to trying, making it into the race. Best result this season, his World Cup best result in only four previous outings, was 20th place in Beijing. Whoa, again, big skids. Not got the control he needs in the sled. 26 best speed. And right now, he's gonna be behind the quasi Frimpong of Ghana. 25-year-old from Chinese Taipei ends his World Cup campaign this year with a 56-1-2. So he is in 28 spots at the moment. Manuel Schwerzer clinging on in the race, 25th position. We've got Hunter Williams of the USA coming up. Nick Timmings knows this track. Ryan Kuna, Canada knows it. Jonathan, you're of Malaysia. He knows it too because he started sliding uh, for Australia, and he's raced here before. All right. So Chan Chung Hong does not make it through. What about Hunter Williams? Fifth World Cup start for the 31-year-old. Made his debut here in November 2019. He's had five World Cup race, uh, NAC races on this track. Let's see if he's got enough to make it into the field. No fives he needs at the start. 492, that's a cracking getaway for Hunter Williams. Ninth best start, 11th best velocity, but steered hard. Two into three, takes quite a hard hit out of three. Big knee steer going there on the top of the Devil's Highway. He does have a chance to make it in.
Austin Floor and his teammate is in 15th place, Dan Barefoot in 11th. But off the ninth best start, Hunter Williams is out to 20 from the splits, hits both sides of the chicane. 19th best speed as he comes into the heart. It's going to be touch and go. He should have enough. He does have enough. He's in. And Manuel Schwerzer is out. 54 71. 20 second place. Manuel Schwerzer is out. Ajen Rodriguez is out. The Quasi Frimbong, Chang Chun Hung, and Jung Sung Wee are out. Head buried there, Hunter Williams trusting the light. He's not looking at all. Now he just glimpses through the chicane. There's commitment. Look at the way it's, I mean, that's not chin on the ice, that's forehead on the ice. Oops. <laughs> Oops, in right. Surprised he's got any visor well, left, never mind yeah, chin piece. All right, so Hunter Williams is in. What about Nick Timmings, the Aussie in his 17th World Cup race? A quarter of all his previous World Cup races have been here in Lake Placid. So four of the previous 16. Only one race in Altenburg in 2019 has been better than his best here, which was 20th place last time out in Lake Placid. 5-14 getaway. Two gold, two silver, and one bronze NAC medal on this track. Four World Cup starts. And his last three World Cup results would all qualify him for this field. But at the moment, of the 27th best start, he is driving himself into the race. 40th best speed. North America is Nick Timming sliding home from home. Yossi shoots to go nicely, 18th best speed. He's up to 23rd place. He is in right now, and Colin Freeling of Belgium is out. And across the line, he's in, 54-7-2, 100th behind Hunter Williams. Will that be telling? They're 22nd and 23rd, only the best 25 go through. Well, that might be enough. That could be enough. By 14 start, 27th best start out of 31 athletes so far. but he knows how to get speed on the track. He drove himself up the order, Brad definitely out driving his start. Yeah. There, just hovering Wait, over the much. ice. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best comment. Yeah, well, where he comes from in Western Australia, it's probably close to 40 degrees. And that's Celsius, not Fahrenheit. Yeah, Raku yeah, next for Canada, that's only that's a second that's World that's Cup start. Junior Pan Am silver medalist two weeks ago, when he finished 29th and 22nd in the NAC races. And this is the Pan Am Championships. We have a European Championships, a World Championships. This year for the first time, the Pan Am Championships as well. So any slider from North or South America or from the Caribbean is eligible, which means Canada, the USA, Brazil, Mexico, Honduras, Belize. Oh! Almost crashes right here. Was 24 of the 13th best start. 28 speed, he's not going to make the race. Late, late exit, trying to hang on for the speed. And a 55 to 9, he does not make it in. Two hundreds out of the race. Well, because there are so many European athletes here, he will still be ranked in the Pan Am Championships, but not highly. That was a horrible and very uncomfortable looking exit.
His back is going to need a lot of physio. All right, three go here. 32 sleds in. And Jonathan Yaw, second World Cup for the Malaysian sliders. Started racing as an Australian, made his debut here in January 2020. He's had 12 North America's Cup races on this track alone. His World Cup debut in Lillehammer, where he finished 34th in the field. Starts 23rd, 5.05 is enough to make it into the race if he can drive track. And he has got experience. He's already out to 28th on the splits and far too much skidding going on. When you watch the athlete's head coming towards you and his feet aren't following when they're out to one side or the other, the sled is yawing about under him, no pun intended. Not a bad run through the chicane, but he doesn't have the speed. And he is going to be 31st at the line. 55 8 0 for Jonathan Yaw. So his second World Cup race comes to an end after the first heat. 31st place at the moment. 200s behind a quasi Frimpong. Again, late exit early in the run as he gets into the Devil's Highway, flying off four into five. And again, watch legs. The whole sled you can see just sliding sideways, the legs out sideways, the going away shot down from Benham's bend into the chicane. Mum, Dad, I'm coming home. Working hard. <laughs> Working hard for that one. Dragons now then, two to go, one. and a name and a face that we are very familiar with over the last few seasons, Kung Wen Chang of China, China's first ever sliding medalist. First man to win a World Cup race for China as well in any winter discipline on the ice tracks. First to win a medal in La Plan in 2018. He won in Innsbruck in 2021, a three-way tie famously with Matt Weston and Christopher Brodeher. And he still has one third of all of China's skeleton medals. He was not in the World Cup this year. He did not get selected to go to the games in 2022. He did not race in the World Cup last season either. Seventh place here in 2017. Seventh best speed off the 15th start. Is this a top 10 run? Come second best speed. He's in the top 10. A bit of a wild chicane. Where's he going to end up? Top six potentially. Eighth at the line. 53.94. Seventh place in 2017. A wild exit to the chicane, and he's eighth place in the first heat. I'm loving his new helmet, or new to us at any rate, haven't seen that helmet. And Gong, he was really the first of the Chinese skeleton athletes to show good promise. Their first medal winner, their first race winner. And then got sidelined before the Beijing Games. I thought that was a bit inexplicable. But... He back and going well. Final slider is Israel's Jared Firestone. An ace race winner here in December 2022. Did not do the NAC races a couple of weeks ago, though he did all the training. So his only race of any kind this season was here in November in the NAC race where he finished sixth. Hasn't been able to afford a coach this season. He's self-funded as a, a part-time lawyer. So his cousin is here helping. And it looks like he's not got much control on the sled. I wonder if everybody was expecting it to be a little warmer today than it's turned out to be. 
Quite a lot of skidding going on from the 33 year old. So his fourth World Cup start, his last was in January 2022 in Samarit. Shoots the chicane nicely. Berger, fastest start, 29 speed. At the moment, looking to finish in 30th place at the line he does, 55-52. So, does not get a second heat, there's his cousin who's helped out. 29th place, his previous best in World Cup racing. And that will be a 30th place finish for him. 5.14 start, so 30th at the start. And recovered from these early errors to be 30th at the bottom. So going away very early on is always hard to get back. Just didn't quite have the control before he got to the Devil's Highway. And then, whoa! That late exit as well. Looks like a powerboat up on the plains. Jared Firestone is done for his fourth World Cup outing. The man who leads the field is Yin Cheng of China. And Yin, having won the last two, could he win the season finale, make it a hat trick? of World Cup wins, it looks almost certain now that he will grab himself a Crystal Globe. Coming in fourth in the points, Jung Xiong Gui last will not get a Crystal Globe. That I'm sure is going to happen. Now Matt Weston is fourth and right now the man who leads the World Cup standings, Christopher Grote here, not on page one and barely on page two, because he is in 18th. So right now, if they, if the positions don't change, Grothair will take the gold Crystal Globe, and the silver could go to Yin Cheng ahead of Christopher Grothair. It all depends on the second heat. Lucas Defaye will go again, and again, like in the first heat, he will be first off, 25th, down to one, the remaining 10 sliders will join us trackside to watch the action for the second and deciding heat. And that will start at 13.20 Eastern, 17.20 GMT, 18.20 CET. And that is in 50.40 at 40 minutes from now.